Okay, well I've already done this experiment once, but I've got to the camera on down here. I think uh, I did a take and I shut the camera off instead of hitting record again. So, we're going to do this again. I'm going to show you there's already marks in here where I tested it. So we're going to test a banana first. Move this out of the way. As you can see, that's where I tested the banana. Well, we're going to test it again just to make sure the light is on. And there it is. So the light is working and hopefully the camera is working. So we're going to put it right beside it. Now what we're going to be doing is this is green. This uh, pear is green. So I'm going to see how long it takes the light. Then we're going to let it ripen and we're going to test it again. And then we're going to get it, let it get overripe and test it again to see the difference in each stage of ripeness as far as conductivity goes and how much it lights the light. Okay, so the pear has been done. Now we're going to check the papaya. You can see there's two holes there. So instead of three holes in this project, there's going to be four. We're going to check it three times. Once when it's uh, green, another when it's ripe, and another one when it's overripe. And I'll put times in the video so you'll know how long it was from when I plugged this in. As you can see, this gets pretty bright, even though it's green. Look at that. That's fantastic. This is super good for you. So we're going to take these, put them in a paper bag, let them ripen for a few days, then we're going to film again. Hey everyone, we're back for the second trial. I've let the uh, pyre and the pear ripen some, so we're going to do the second part of this test. So here we go. Alright, this is the bag that I put the uh, pyre. Actually, I thought it was a little heavy. It's got a melon in there too, but we're not going to be testing that. Maybe later. There's the pear and there's the burn marks in it. Almost looks like an alien, doesn't it? And the papaya, you can see. Whoops. Matter of fact, it's pretty ripe. It's got a bad spot on it. So this should fire up pretty good. We're going to test it and find out. And there's the burn marks on that. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to Make sure the light is on using a banana. And there it goes. So let's do the papaya first. Here it comes. Quite a while, I think. Let's see how bright it gets. It's going to be interesting to see if there's any difference in how long it took the first time and how long it took this time. Now the pear. Let's give him a nose. Now what's important about this and how soon that light comes on is your body burns energy every time you eat something to process it, to digest it. And you can hear that sizzling. And when your body is processing this, you're obviously using energy. And a lot of times, like with heavy meats and things like that, it actually takes more energy to process and digest the food and distribute it in your body than it's actually giving back to you. When fruit is ripe, especially if it's ripened on the tree, 
and it's soft and you eat it it's like it's pre-digested and it has a lot of uh, liquid in it so it's hydrating the body at the same time it takes a lot less energy to process this and distribute it through the body than uh, like heavy things like meat so this is actually giving your body more energy than it is using and that is the ultimate diet when you eat something and you get back more energy than it takes to process it that's when you know you have a great diet and you have a lot of energy that you can expend while you're exercising or running or whatever it is you're doing so just so you'll know that this fruit is not going to waste this bad fruit that I've been having a this pear that I've been having a lot of fun with and this papaya will be turned into compost because it's important that we give back to the earth and it is important because we're the only species that doesn't give back to the earth we take from it all the time we tear it up we build things on it but we never take the simple things that are life-giving to us and give them back or at least 99 percent of us don't so we have a couple of worm farms we'll make this into a uh, not, I'll do a video sometime on that where we take these put them in the blender we have a blender now that is specifically for this blend it up put it in the worm farm the worms eat it we take their castings and enrich the soil our plants uh, we make a compost tea out of it and spray the plants with it and it is a great thing to do and it's something that I would say 99% of the people are not doing and that's what we need to do we need to start educating people on how simple it is to take things like this that we would just throw away whether it's the scraps that are left over and give it back to the earth and the more we can enrich the earth the more we can enrich ourselves our lives our health the health of our communities so this is a very important thing to do so I hope you found this experiment helpful and the information helpful and I'll put some benefits the top 10 benefits uh, of papaya and uh, pears at the bottom and we'll be doing more experiments like in the spring with an apple that's not quite right an apple that's ripe um, so you can see the difference in how long it takes to light it hope you found this helpful and I'll see you right here next time <music>